happen tonight the rest of the week. It's going to be a little warmer tonight than it was uh, this morning and the night before when we fell into the 40s and low 50s. I think we're closer to 60 tonight. And as okay. a result, we'll see more clouds. Could see a little bit of fog, especially over Houston and Trinity County. But overnight lows tonight, mid to upper 50s. So a comfortable night for sure. Doubt the air conditioner has to come on. Hey, the planets are aligning. Remember this morning we talked about this yesterday. This morning we had Jupiter and Venus and this crescent moon, a spectacular display. It'll be on display again tomorrow morning, so if you take a picture, please share that with us. Text us 903-600-2600 or email the weather team weather at cbs19.tv. Allergy index today, tree pollen moderate, grass pollen moderate now. One of the higher numbers we've seen so far this spring. Weeds were on the low side and the mold spores dropped about half what they were yesterday. CBS 19 studio camera. Put putt, pretty popular place tonight. Say that three times real fast. Temperature outside is sitting at around 78 degrees right now. We've got that wind that's out there, but it's light out of the south southeast about 10 miles an hour and the barometer is falling as high pressure now begins to move away. Bus stop forecast go short start to finish tomorrow. We'll be around 62 at those morning bus stops. More clouds showing up by recess 77, but no rain breezy warm tomorrow with high temperatures in the lower 80s umbrella cast. We're going to take out that rain chance for Friday yesterday at a 20% chance in if it sprinkles. That's about it, but I don't think that's worthy of even a 20% mention Saturday. It's about a 40 to 60% chance and Sunday. It's a solid 60% chance, especially in the morning. So let's break that down for you and show you about where you have the best chance of rain. If you're headed west toward Dallas, that's a 30% chance of rain Saturday afternoon. Mineola, Tyler, Jacksonville. It's about a 40% chance of rain over toward Longview, Henderson, Nacogdoches Center in Carthage by Saturday afternoon. That's a 50% chance of rain. And then Sunday morning, those rain chances go up from 40 to 60% with the best chance of rain being out close to the Louisiana border. In fact, Marshall and Carthage stand about a 70% chance of rain Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, you're looking at rain chances ranging from 40 to 50%. And you can see where most of the rain will fall here when I show you the rainfall totals in just a second. We also have to keep an eye on Monday. Monday features a chance to have a couple of strong or severe thunderstorms right now. I think the window is confined to Monday evening between about 7 and 10 o'clock as some showers and thunderstorms get going, especially between Tyler and Shreveport. So certainly worth watching rainfall forecast next seven days. The heaviest amounts are going to line up above Interstate 20 to the Red River. So three quarters of an inch to about two inches of rainfall in a couple of thunderstorm complexes that drop into those areas there. All right, forecast for tonight. Few passing clouds, warmer with some fog south. The overnight low around 57 degrees and a light south southeast wind. Here's your Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast. A warmer blend of sun and clouds tomorrow. 84 for the high humidity returns Friday up to 86. Scattered thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday and Monday. The possibility of some strong storms exists, followed by more scattered thunderstorms Tuesday. Finally, weather quieting down the middle part of next week with a high next Wednesday around 86.